evening and welcome once again. Well, thank you kindly, uh, Bill, Reverend Mitchell, distinguished veterans and friends. The greatest leader of the 20th century, Sir Winston Churchill, once said, all the great things are simple and can be expressed in a single word, freedom, justice, honor, duty, mercy, hope. And those great things truly define the quality of the character of those who made the ultimate sacrifice that we honor here today and the cause that they fought so valiantly for. And why it's so appropriate to see so many gathered here at War Plain Heritage. No doubt, sadness in our hearts. And this is appropriately a very solemn ceremony. But there is also purpose in all this. A quiet but a abiding pride in what was accomplished. In World War I, a very young nation of Canada sent 600,000 men, many mere boys, to fight overseas. And it was Canada's 100 days that helped to crush the fighting spirit of the Germans and bring about an end to the conflict. There's your honor and duty. In World War II, it was Canadians who took the most land at Normandy through Juneau Beach and held it fast. And you go to Holland today and they'll thank you. Thank you for what our courageous soldiers accomplished 70 years ago. Freedom and justice. And in Afghanistan, in Kandahar, it was Canadians who did the, the heavy lifting for a cause of greatness and simplicity, the freedom for girls to go to school. Now there's mercy and hope. When asked, Canadians willingly left home. They fought bravely, valiantly, and skillfully. We gather here today to remember that debt and those sacrifices. And that freedom, justice, honor, duty, mercy, and hope, the quality of the character of those we honor today and their great cause.